256 players and all these camps you got and all the things you do from parachuting, flying and all this other stuff, it changes the whole dynamics of your role in this massive, it's like, it's massive, man. You know what I mean? And considering the band is doing so well, it goes to show that the PSN network is, you know, a very great network. You know what I'm saying? To run it with no lag, no slowdown, the dedicated service, whatever they're doing, they're doing a good job. So, my question to you guys is this. If MAG becomes the next big multiplayer hit in the industry, where do you see it going after that? And how do you see it stacking up to the lights of Call of Duty and stuff? And what I mean, I ain't talking about sales. I'm talking about overall fun gameplay quality. You know what I'm saying? When this game come out, do you think that it will be comparable as far as the enjoyment we all get out of Call of Duty now? You know what I'm saying? The fun factor and how smooth it is? Let me know what you guys think because that's a good situation to talk about, alright? So, that's it for the general news. Now, we about to go into the um, game review of the day. The game review of the day is G.I. Joe, alright? Oh, G.I. Right, anyway, G.I. Joe, alright? Now, I'm telling you right now, my opinion on the game is that it's a decent game. It's decent. Alright, you know what I mean? And when you see the review, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. You're gonna see the review, you're gonna see the gameplay, it's crazy. But it's a decent game, it's not for everybody, you know what I mean? But it's decent. Alright, so without further ado, check out the review. And also, right after the review, I have a very, very special guest on the show today, coming on Gamers in the Street, my man Matt, and this dude right here is actually one of the creators of the G.I. Joe game that you're about to see a review for. So, now you're going to be able to hear a whole different side of the whole G.I. Joe, like, thing. Like, it's, it's crazy. So stay tuned. You do not want to miss it. I'll be back with the Hip Hop R Double S, and we're going to close it out. God bless y'all, and make sure you check out Game Review Battles at the bottom. Go to the website, hipopgamingshow.com, support it, join the forums, get involved. It's on, baby. Peace. Yo, yo, Hip Hop Gamer Show, you already know what it is, man, it's your boy Hip Hop Gamer. Now, I'm doing my reviews a little different after being on the war zone. I'm just going to try to take some advice from, you know, the fans out there, so we're going to try to do it different. Now, this is what I want to say first off. This is the G.I. Joe, you know what I'm saying, review, and first, I usually start off with graphics, right? But, I'm going to talk about gameplay first. I'm, I'm going to flip it up like this. Now, I'm going to tell you a few things before you see the footage. Now, as far as the gameplay, like to me, like the camera view in the game, it's like, it's, it's good, but it messes up at times. And what I mean by messes up is like, you could be running around, shooting and fighting, and everything is smooth, but certain times, like the camera angle will turn all the way around, and you may not know where you're at, and it may happen for like a good one or two seconds, and then everything is like back to normal. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I wish they had a better fixed camera, because not like you control the camera. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you know games like God of War, like when you like moving the camera around, it's like you, they designed it to where you don't have to worry about that. It moves by itself and it works accurate. This is not the case here with G.I. Joe, though. Like, it, it do messes up and it's annoying, but it's not annoying to the point where you don't want to play the game. You know what I'm saying? But it does happen. Um, the controls... Um, I mean, it's amazing. Like, as far as the controls, it feels extremely good to play. The game got a nice cover system. I mean, you're going to see all of this in the video. It's crazy. Now, a thing that's very unique about this game is, like, you could be shooting, right? And when you get close to a person, it automatically, you know, goes to the person you're closest to as far as shooting. But, you have an option, meaning that you can also use, use the analog instead of just the auto-aim. So, if you walk in and you see, like, like three soldiers here, instead of shooting the one you're closest to, you just move the analog stick to the left or something, and you start shooting that dude. And it's so seamless, and it works so well. So, with the cover system and, and shooting at auto-targets or analog targets, you know, doing it manually, and even though the camera view, could, you know, may suck at times, the overall gameplay experience feels really good and is way better than, like, what I expected. You see what I'm saying? In terms of 
you know, playing the game. It feels really good. It's like the traditional arcade feel, bringing home a title. And anybody that's fans of GI Joe, trust me, you're gonna. I think you're gonna love it. And those hardcore gamers out there. It ain't no Call of Duty quality game, so this may not be for you. But it is a fun, quick game to get into, and um, we're about to see it. So check out the game <laughs> gameplay. Check out the gameplay. You know what I mean? On GI Joe, hip hop gamer. You know how I do. Hope you enjoy it. Be, I'll be right back. Peace. Yo, yo, it's the Hip Hop Gamer Show, and this is the gameplay, you know, portion of the G.I. Joe review. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the camera view. The camera view is okay, but I feel that, like, there's parts in the game where the camera could circle around in a way where it takes you out of the action, and sometimes you may not even know, like, where you're at, you know what I'm saying? So, to me right there, that's, like, you know, not cool because it affects when you're playing the game. Now, it happens, it don't happen too, too bad, but it happens enough to the point where it gets annoying, you know what I'm saying? So, to me right there, with the, with the camera angles, that, that's something that um, I didn't like too much and stuff like that. Now... What's cool about the game is the controls are really, really smooth and really, really responsive. And they have this like analog auto aim type of thing. So if you get close to an enemy and you just hold an R2 to shoot, it's automatically gonna um you know shoot at that target. But let's say there's another target, I could just point forward with the analog stick and then I shoot whoever I want. So I can either just go up close to them and they and automatically shoot the closest person. Or I could just choose who I want to shoot via the analog stick. And it works extremely well. So that right there is really cool. The frame rate is solid. So that right there is really smooth. Now, another thing about this game as far as gameplay that I like is the cover system. You got a little cover system. Come over here. Boom. See that? Got a nice little cover system. Then you hop over. Come over here. Cover. Peek, peek out. You know what I'm saying? It's real smooth. It works really good. So... G.I. Joe has a really, really good um, cover system, and, and it comes in handy, trust me, because there's things in this game that you're going to be like, oh, shoot, and then, you know, it's really going to come in handy, so, yeah, they have a good cover system, and what's cool about it is, like, while you're shooting, you can evade and shoot, at, you know what I mean, dodge out, you know, in the middle of gameplay, so you don't only have to stay behind cover, but you can come out of cover, run around, and boom, roll, boom, get out the way, boom, get out the way again. And it's very effective, especially in a game like this, very effective. Now, a good variety of enemy types I've seen in this game, which is good. Like, you see get, you see enemies with, like, super suits and robot stuff. You see turrets. You see, you know, like, look at this dude. He got a, a completely different outfit on. This dude right here. So, you see, a, like, a variety, a great variety of a lot of enemies in this game. And that's cool because it makes the game, like, less repetitive because you're fighting different people in different ways. So, you got to, you know, step your game up in terms of... Um, your skills in the game and the game got you know different level sets so you're gonna be able to play it on easy or you can play it on you know real hard and you get a completely different game you know via the um challenges via, you know via the uh via the challenging settings now this right here is one of the coolest parts of the game watch this y'all go joe that joint right there is crazy that does it for me that right there is my Mojo right there, son. And then the music comes in. It make, it brings the whole feel to. The, oh, I did an ill uppercut to him just now. So to me, right there, like makes the gameplay incredible. Just having that Super Joe joint. That was crazy right there. Right here, you know, you ranking up points and stuff like that, and we moving on to the next part. Now, another thing I want to mention about the game is that this game do have some cool weapons and stuff like that. And the reason why the weapons is cool and unique because, you know, it goes according to the person. Like, I got Heavy Duty with me, and he has, like, a big Gatling gun. You know what I mean? And Ripcord got a completely different weapon. There's so many characters that come with different weapons. So, every time you play with someone different, it's real unique. And even the weapons that's being used against you is um, unique in the game. And you can um, pick them up and use them. So that, that right there is um, real smooth right there. I like that. Now, um... 
There's a lot of G.I. Joe characters in the game, which is like very smooth and stuff like that. The reason why is because, you know, like I said, it gives you the variety. There's this little teleport thing that you go into where you can switch G.I. Joe's on the fly. So that right there is hot. Now, 